Just just get prepared for what's going to be, I think, a, a really, really challenging game tomorrow. Uh, Georgia Tech's a team that, that, that defends extremely well. They uh, play hard. They, they, they've got some really good guard play and then a really, really solid post game. So we know we're going to have to come out and, and play our best. Um, you know, I've said it all year. I, I don't care what someone's record is. You, you just know this league and you know how tough this league is. If you go back and just look at Georgia Tech's last five games, it's a one-point loss at NC State, a two-point loss uh, to Miami, three-point loss at Syracuse. I mean, just really, really good games. So I'm expecting nothing but the same uh, from them tomorrow night. And Jeff, obviously, just the message to your team after what took place against Virginia Tech. What did that look like for you, and, and how was the response since then? Well, I, we had a really good day of practice yesterday. We watched some film. We watched a little bit of the game again, you know, against Virginia Tech, and then you've got to move on to start preparing for Georgia Tech. Uh, you know, we didn't play extremely well at the, de at the defensive end of the floor. We had we had too many mental lapses, uh, ju just breakdowns. You can't give a team like that easy looks because they're going to make them. You've got to make them make tough shots. You got to make sure you're there contesting. Um, you know, if you're supposed to knock down a flash cutter, you got to knock down the flash cu uh, 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 cutter. You can't let players get the ball where they want. Um, and that's what we did too much of on Sunday. So hopefully we'll see some improvement tomorrow night. When you look at that, you mentioned it was close to the end of Georgia Tech's play. Against NC State, they had the lead like right up until the end. I guess how much do you take from that and just that competitiveness that Georgia Tech brings and that, that fight? Well, I take, I take a lot from it. And I know that that they're playing for a lot right right now. I mean, I'm looking at them, and, and I think they're a ball club. They can make the uh, NCAA tournament easily. Uh, you're sitting here right, right now at 6-9 and nine in the league. They have us at home, and I think they play at Wake and at Miami. If they can win all three and get to 9-9, to nine and nine, it puts them at 18-12, and 12, and I think they're in. Um, so they're playing for a lot, and we're playing for a lot as well. I think we have to minimum win three of our last four to have a chance to host the first two rounds. So – there, there's a lot at stake for both teams, and they compete. They're very well coached. I, I like how hard their their kids play. They've got four of them averaging in double figures. So you you have to you have to come to play. You have to make sure mentally you're locked into a scouting report. Jeff, what do you think the defensive potential for this group is this late in the year? Because you have a game like Notre Dame where high-quality offensive team that guarded them well, held them well, and then a performance like Tech, there's like a high variance there, somewhere in the middle of that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's you just have to come mentally prepared. That's the thing about it. You just can't show up physically. And I thought for a lot of us, we just showed up physically. Our physical effort was good. But you have to have a mental effort as well when you're playing teams in this league. So, uh, you know, we, we've talked about it. We've showed them things on film. There's plenty of time for growth. I mean, they're, they're, you're, you're looking at a month and a half left in the season, you know, if you play all the, all the, all the way out. So they're, they're, there's plenty of time. Each day is an opportunity for, for us to get better. And I thought we got a little better in yesterday's practice. Now we, we have to get better t uh, today because I still believe we're scoring enough points to win. Now we we we've got to get it to the point where we're only giving up, you know, maybe 62, 63 points, and hopefully continue to score our 70. Jeff, what made the A more Kitley combo so lethal this past week? And, and when you watch them and watch your team and how they responded to that, is there some sort of takeaway from this for your team moving forward if you face a team like that again? Well, I, it's not just this weekend. They've been good for the last two or three years. I mean, they're uh, they're two of the best uh, that are in the league at the point and, and five spot. It's six six. She's she's got great touch around the basket. Um, Amor does an ama amazing job of playing with pace. Uh, plus, she's able she she's able to score. She can shoot to three. She scores off the bounce. She gets to the rim. They're they're just both really really good players. And then if the supporting cast plays as well as they did and shoots the ball as well, then they're extremely difficult to guard. So 
you know, you, you tip your hat to them. And we know we'd ha we have to play really, really well. You can't just show up and play average against a really good team. And we didn't play our best. And they played really well. And that's not a good recipe. You talked about, I mean, last year, obviously, you know, Costa was that, that toughness brought that brought that factor to the defense. Is there someone you challenge now to kind of be that, that same role in terms of maybe being that igniting force defensively for the team? I, I don't necessarily think there's someone of Mikasa's Mikasa stature out there for us right now. Everybody's just got to get a little bit better. And if everybody can get a little bit better, then we don't have to help as much. Uh, you know, when you play a team like Virginia Tech, if your guards get beat off the bounce and then your post have to come over to help, well, then there's nobody to keep Kitley off the glass. And that happens several times. So I'm challenging our guards to just keep people in front of them, make people take shots over, over you. But you also have to have some ball pressure. You can't just back off four feet and allow them to take wide open shots. So it's a little bit of both. You, you, you've got to be able to pressure, but at the same time, you can't just give straight line drives to the, to the basket. Um, and we'll, we'll continue to show them film. We'll continue to work on it in practice because it's, it's just a mindset. It, it, it really is a mindset and, and toughness. And I, if everybody can just get a little bit better, our team can get a lot better. Yeah, offensively, Sid's three-point percentage is, is down compared to, like, for previous years. When someone's going through that a little bit, is it just a keep shooting thing? or? or well, it's, it's, shoot, it's shooting good shots. I mean, Sid, Sid had some really good shots in the game on Sunday. Ball just did not go in. It's just a matter of you've, you've got to keep getting in the gym. You've got to keep, keep grinding, getting more shots up, and – you know, there's no substitute for hard work. And when things aren't going the way you want them to, a lot, a lot of times players stop working as hard because like, ah, that's not paying off. And, that, and that's not your answer. So the encouraging thing is Sid was in the gym. She, she's been in here shooting. All of them. I mean, I thought we did a great job of taking care of the ball on Sunday. Now we've got to – be able to knock down open shots, defend, and take care of the ball. And I think there, there's a lot of, uh, of positive things that can happen for this ball club. You, you guys obviously have been on a grind over the last couple of weeks, especially five of the last six games being against ranked teams. The game against Boston College was a grind as well. How, what's your message to your team as far as just staying strong with the physicality and the mental side, as you kind of mentioned, through this tough time, knowing that you're towards the back end of the regular season? everybody's going through the same thing. It's, you know, we've got two weeks of the regular season left. You've got four games. You've got to figure out a way to tough it up. It's, you know, you're going to have your bumps and bruises. You're going to be sore. It, it, who's going to put that behind them and keep going forward knowing we've got four regular se season games left, two at home, two on the road. And then we come back, we've got the a ACC tournament. Everybody's dealing with the same thing. And then there, there is a little break before the NCAA tournament where people can get healthy, people can get some rest. But right now, it, 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 it's a mental game. You, if you think that you're tired, then you're beat. So whoever is going to come out here and, and put forth that effort and, and just push through that wall is going to be the team that, that has the most success. Mentioned obviously, you know, win the last three of the three of the last four improves your chances of hosting. How do you, I guess, balance preaching that that bigger picture message with still kind of taking it one game at a time? Well, it's one game at a time, but at the same time, they they understand. Like, if we don't win Thursday, well, then you got to win on Sunday. I mean, we know what's at stake, but I do like for them to understand. Hey, here's what you're playing for, in my opinion, in these next four games. Um, you know, and heck, if 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 you win all four. You know, it, it'd be interesting to see where uh, where we finish in league play. So, it, but it's not like we're looking past anyone. There, there's nobody that you can sit here in our league and say, okay, here's a win. That, that's just not possible right now with how tough our league is top to bottom. So, we do look at the big picture, but at the same time, our kids are focused on Georgia Tech tomorrow for sure. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.